All right, y'all, web video, we're here. So first thing this morning, I have an opportunity to spend some time with some of my favorite people, Allie, Rachel, Josh, right here behind you. Actually, Allie is not here yet, but, so we're gonna do a couple different things. Y'all hang tight, sit y'all down. I'm not gonna say it's the best angle, but just let y'all My name is Jacob Wheeler, and I am a Major League Fishing World Championship competitor. All right, so we're going outside now. Going outside. Say what's up to Allie. Hey, we're gonna give you inside access. Is that what we're Talk doing? Talk about your new family. Oh, your new there you go. Family. How about that? Little Olivia. <laughs> that should be fine. Are you calling her Liv? Liv, absolutely. She, she's like hella cute. I might have to steal that someday. Smash that. Oh, I would do with a life jacket for a thousand. Does anybody swim the Mississippi? You know I don't know about right from now. From Cuba to Florida. I don't know about right now. Five hundred. You do it for five hundred. No. If I had a life jacket, yeah. I would do it for. Yeah. Oh, I knew I was going to survive. So you knew you, you were going to survive. That's part of the deal. That's, That's part of the deal. Literally. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I just has anybody ever swam the Mississippi? That's if I had a raft, I could swim it for sure. I could like a little. If I had one of those like little like floaty tube like things. If you had like a life jacket, you could definitely. Like a lazy like, river inflatable. It would be like a lazy river. I'd have to lock through a couple times with my name floaty. <laughs> hey, I'm walking through. You know, small. like the flamingo floaties? What's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, literally, wait, wait, were you? like, just sit on a flamingo floaty and just go down. No, like, you, were, you were in for all, good, all the way to the day. <laughs> See you guys later. Number one, first thing when you mess up <laughs> in a relationship, don't ever blame the other person. Yeah. Just admit the wrongdoing. And, and it all good. happened so fast. South Drive for one mile. Okay, so got done with the interviews with Allie, a little inside access, and now we're heading to the lake to do a little bit um, of stuff for the Major League Fishing Pro Tour. So, got to get it all figured out. Um, but overall, it's pretty simple. It's beautiful day. I mean, it's 70 degrees springtime. I'm telling you, tomorrow might be really good. Check, check, one, two. And I wanted it. Today we are going to take a tour of my whole rig, my boat, my truck, what I do day in and day out, and where I spend the majority of my time. I think the uh, TR, uh, TRX. 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 <laughs> this is basically my workshop. The top, we got rod seats in there, so that way I'm good to go. Comment on this. Let me know what you think. We had a lot of fun. See y'all next time. I had to think of two people. You would think. I've been challenging boys. This one right here is for Mark. When I gotta pull him out, that one over there is for Connor. DC, you guys gotta step your game up on your truck game. Come on now. We gotta get the lift. We gotta get them named big grabbers. All right, brody, you ready? Yep. We got an hour and a half drive. All right, y'all. We got a special treat on our day off. I got my buddy Justin Martin. You might know him as Martin off of, you know, from Duck Commander and the show Duck Dynasty. This dude right here is probably the nicest dude, coolest guy, hell of a hunter, but also just a hell of a dude and a pretty dang good fisherman. So by the time this actually posts, you can go on the links below and there'll be 
the videos from today, us hopefully catching a few bass. Fancy to find you here. This Who? guy right here has killed more ducks than washing allowed. Who, me? I'm just a crappie fisherman. I don't hey. know what you're talking about. So last year, Martin wrote something pretty inspirational on my boat, just sort of motivate me. It was pretty good luck. So I'm gonna say he's gotta do it again. Cause after Conroe, I'm not so happy. <laughs> Let's run it back. Look, I I'm, a, a I'm a very good wordsmith, so I, I really know what I'm doing here. Let me give you something right there too. Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. There you go. Look at there. And then. And what? And um, it says, don't suck. Don't suck. Huh. I'm a wordsmith. That's that's a solid one. Deep. I, I think. That's deep. <laughs> that's man. deep. Because that means literally. I had to cover that up. Let it dry off. Ah, uh, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, don't yeah. suck. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to have it right there. When I'm sucking in a major league fishing event, I'll just go down there and look at it and say, okay, Martin told me not to. If it works again, let's just add it to the wrap. I think so. I, there. Yeah. Done. That's <laughs> all right, y'all. Just got back. Literally stayed out on the water for, tried to stay out for a decent amount of time. Had an unbelievable time with my buddy Martin. He, uh, he's a good old boy. I can't tell you all enough how much I really enjoy that sucker. We had a good time, but, and caught some on the dang big giant Bill Dance buzz bait, which is crazy. Um, never caught one on that thing before in my life. So, is what it is. I'm sure somebody has. Comment, let me know if you actually have. But we gotta head in here to the meeting. So, Vidalia, um, I don't know who all is supposed to be here. I know the mayor's here of Vidalia, um, a few other people, um, and some, some Louisiana seafood. So, I think a few restaurants from around here had actually made this up for us, which is gonna be really cool. Um, and have an opportunity to try something new. Never know. See y'all. I wonder if I got crawfish for you. We have Dang. Hey, I bet you a big bass in there right there. Fishermen for Pickering, Louisiana. Thank you, Mayor. I tested it all. Not only the food, the culture, the people, but we do have the best fishing. I tell people you can fish anywhere, but you can't fish in Louisiana. I Been on the weather. Really? Getting some last minute rigging done, and man, it's just, um, you never have enough. You never know where you're gonna go. You never know what it's gonna be like. Hard to just, you know, if you had some old line on your rod, and you're just, you know, it's a world championship. One fish tomorrow, if I break it off, it could mean the difference between me advancing on and me going home. And that's why it's so important to have every single detail, every little, you know, T cross, making sure all your stuff's ready to roll. I mean, that's, I try to have fun, no doubt. Every time I go out there on the water, I'm having fun, but you gotta be prepared too. You got that, check, another GoPro, 
check the one Martin caught him on yesterday. I know it works. It's early, five o'clock to be exact. But we got work to do. It rained a little bit last night, but it's still nice and warm outside, so at least something. Oh my goodness. A little bit of half and half. Boom. OJ. Always ready. Good morning. 520. 520? Yeah. I thought we were ready to ride. We're leaving at 530, we leave on 515. 45. 5.45. They've changed it last night on us. Ah. Unreal. Unbelievable. I got my butt up way too early. All right. I wasn't reading them text real good. I probably was what it was. It's probably my fault. Now we really have some dialogue to kill. We're going to some rods. Let's see what I got in here. All right, y'all, I tell you. All right, y'all, we're in Vidalia, and one of the coolest police officers I've met in a long time, Dustin Robert here. Looking out after us, he's a deer hunter, a fisherman. And he's been looking out for us day in and day out, making sure everything's good and safe. Vidalia seems pretty dang, pretty safe overall, but you know, you always, it's always nice to have that extra help. And we really appreciate, you know, all that law enforcement does all across the country, but especially the guys that they're very similar to us, you know, the hunting fish, which there's a lot of y'all. Uh, we appreciate what you guys do. Yeah, that thing right there, we're in that thing for 12 hours. Gosh. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's heavy. You are not kidding. Ready to roll. Better hang on. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I just had to eat that last little something you're in tied up. Day two, about to take off. Put some stuff up, make them all wait on us a little bit. Time to roll. Trying to catch a bass. All right, y'all. Just hopping the truck. Martin to my left. We're literally recording a GoPro recording us. It's GoPro recording or GoPro, whatever that is. So they do like features a lot of times, like when we're driving. They were mad at me for bring the pillow last time so Seven lines in 7:30. Fair enough. Randy's got us the dang map. Let y'all see what it looks like. Basically, got a big oxbow. This little creek that goes back up in this other lake it has a whole bunch of cypress trees. The last time we were here, this water was really, really dirty. I assume this water is coming in. It's gonna be dirty, but over in here, that's what I would use. I'm gonna find out though. Yes, coming. Okay, coming. Yeah. Not bad. All right, y'all, so this is what's going on. We got foggy. It's obviously one of those deals. We want to get out there. We want to see the lake, um, see what's what's going on. Well, obviously, the water's up there a ways and sort of see how it sets up. Um, so we might actually, the officials might put a, a limitation on the speed limit of what we actually get to do our ride around in. So probably, like, you know, just up on pad, 20, 25 miles an hour. And then we get to have that opportunity to ride around and really look at this place. First thing we gotta do though, put this light in. You gotta be safe. Grab a hill, turn these lights on. And then, uh, no. Go. We're only talking an extra 15 minutes, Randy. I've, uh, have decided we can go. We have a 35 mile an hour speed limit. We're taking our time, just being careful, which is smart. I'm 
I'm just stopping there to see how that water looks. Water looks fine in here. I think you're probably gonna have to punch them if they're up in there. I mean, they're deep though. Eh, might not be the deal, I don't know. All right, y'all. So we decided to start a little off-flow pipe. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Spinner bait. We can cast a big old half ounce spinner bait. Swim bait on it. We got us about 30 seconds. If I if I can count right. Oh. That'd be awesome to get one of his train wreck it. I'd be about that. Should have been bite. If that was gonna be one, it should have been one right there. Well, that wasn't a deal. Well, I, uh. Okay. Ready? Nope. nope. Two pounds, five ounces. Agreed. There we go. Two pounds, five ounces. Look how chunky that little sucker is. Perfect. Unbelievable. Just right there on exactly what we wanted to see. On the edge of this grass. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Never got it. Have a couple of blow up on him, but they won't. Sucks, man. Another don't bite it. Gosh, Marty. Dude, that's a big one. Gosh, Tomati. Unbelievable. There it is. Unreal. <laughs> I could not have like made up a tougher tougher deal. I mean just you know a little bit of bad luck. I mean gosh. Have one by me there, have one by me there. Had probably like eight bites this period and just cannot get them in the boat but i'm gonna come back here there's a way to catch those fish right there for sure all right y'all had an issue with my other gopro so got to figure it all out but i'm gonna go the opposite way today just or this is the period anyway I try to get out there and try to look sort of expand on what i what i found didn't seem like there was a lot of that on the main river and you know sort of one of those deals that you gotta you gotta mix them up a little bit too Sometimes the muddier water is better. They don't they don't act up as much. When you run that, that little bit cleaner water swimming a jig, they can get them to just play too many stupid games and not get the bait good. All right, let's roll. That ain't the deal. Yeah, I am. All right, y'all. Uh, so we didn't lost the lead and second place so we're in third right now by a couple ounces a day or gosh to mighty we got to do something stopped in and fished a little bit on some other stuff this this uh the start of this period just trying to sort of expand and sort of see what what else they'll get on and, and had some fish blowing up in the grass but never caught a one of them blowing up everywhere shad flying out of the water swim jig spinner bait everything i possibly could do got out of that area because i just was like man there was another angler already in there so i just wanted to give myself a little bit of a fresh start I'd be hard pressed I don't, i'm really like i don't know how you can't get a bite in this stuff i mean it's just perfect what it seems like is there's a lot of bait in this in this grass and, and a lot of that stuff and What's happening is there's, there's bass or like that one right there. 
are sort of blowing up inside the grass, but it's gotta be really particular what they're eating. It seems like they're almost not eating normal stuff because it seems like it's small minnows and stuff like that. So trying to throw a small swim jig. Ooh, that one's blowing up some more. I might try to go catch him. Baits in that grass and they're just squish. Might try that small swim jig. I should be deal. Gosh. All this bait's coming up right now. Fish are blowing up on them, but dude, you cannot get one to bite. Something you would see in the fall, late fall, early fall, when they're blowing up on that year's hatch or thread fin. So we roll back. Same area I had those bites in late. Had some bites, still down by one ounce. Back to like places I get bitten in the first period at all. So normally I'll save that to the last, but I just felt like, it didn't seem like there's anybody down here. I haven't been messing with them for about an hour, hour and a half. There's so obviously some nice fish to be had, but also that morning bite was pretty key, seems like, but they were, miss they were missing it. They were at least blowing up on it then, but. I missed it a lot. Finally, that one wasn't coming off. He ate that one. One pound, four ounces. Agreed. Not big, but that was a big fish. Just to get a little momentum going. Seen that fish come out, downsized my little swim jig with a little crawl on the back of it. Went to a more translucent skirt, and that one actually ate it. So that's that's what you got to do. Those little key, little small adjustments. Gosh, missed it. Dropped it to him. You got it. Two pounds, one ounce. Yes. You get a little bit of distance between, you know, third place and I right now. A two pounder, man, goes a long way. Goes a long, long way. Gosh, man, I'm just trying to take it real easy. Be easy, guys, in the boat because I don't want to. There's a couple of them right there, and I don't want to. Eesh. Right there, where I got that bite, too. Like, literally, right in this little zone, there's quite a few fish up in there. I dropped that bait. Wow, the suckers are blowing up out there in the middle. It's, it's good to see, but <laughs> it's like, come on, come on, man. For like 30 seconds, like, I could probably could have caught one of them. Unreal. Look at this fish up there, super shallow. Be real careful and real quiet right here. We don't want to really move. A whole lot. Eight ounces. Yeah, get a little distance. Just try to stay up here towards the top and just get a little room. It's all about that adjustment, though. I mean, three out of the four that bit this thing have got it good. So that's that's exactly what you want. That one. That one. That one surprised me. One pound, six ounces. Agreed. Dude, come on. Unreal. That's good.
<laughs> That's a big one, guys. Not a big fish, but I have a two pounder, but man. Two pounds, four ounces. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chunky ones, too. <sighs> Barely got it. Just gotta take your time. And, and had to go to the smallest little translucent crawl, even in this dirty water. It seemed like they're just so fickle on anything that's too wide or that's how they've been doing it too gosh just fortunate to catch that one that's a good one I swung it on this side for you phoenix one pound 13 ounces yep heck yeah one step closer to sudden death It's crazy how many are in this little corner, huh? How much time is left? pound three ounces just a little one but i'm telling you that fish right there might have just did it I'm, I'm, it's just i got a feeling i'm telling you that one might have done it oh i seen that's so cool that fish i threw it in there and i was shaking it swimming it and i seen it waking coming towards it and i stopped and it was on a limb and they haven't been eating them on the limb it's been having to stay moving and that fish whoosh, Hey, there was another one that blew up somewhere right in here. Pay attention, that's the deal. That fish was way back up in there. There's trees up in there, little limbs. Mm. That one. <laughs> one pound, 12 ounces. It's another one. pounds four ounces there we go a little better quality one at that look how fat those fish are early spring chunking up that was a dang rain so right now i got 30 or 4409 4401 some basically 44 pounds ike's got 38 and where are you speaking that's the one Come on, shoot, that's a big one if it's on there. It was a good one. I don't feel him anymore. Unreal. Huh. Gosh, that was the one. Dang it. That was the one I wanted to show you all right there. God. Jacob, I'm going to give you the end of the day score tracker results. Jacob Wheeler, 44 pounds, one ounce. Mike Iconelli, 40 pounds, 10 ounces. Skeet Reese, 34 pounds, 10 ounces. Edwin Evers, 34 pounds, 9 ounces. And Brent Eider, 30 pounds, 4 ounces. There we go. Close it out. We close it out. That's what's up right there. Jacob Wheeler, winner of today's elimination round, advancing to the sudden death round, and one step closer 
to a possible world championship. There's so many guns. They were picky today, dude. Picky, picky. With the duck it rods? Yeah, I am. Yeah. My own series coming out. Okay. So, no, I didn't. Come yeah. That's one right there. Thank you. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I think you made a great decision. Guys that are accurate like you. Yeah. And you're one of my more accurates I watch. People don't understand what a slight change in rod. How it, it ain't does. My it's a chunkers, lot. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But guys like you that cast really well. It's, when you get something you like and make that switch. It's a ton. Yeah, I get it. This yeah. is like the first prototype cranking rod. Well, tell me what you think of it. I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what I think. Let me know when that rod gets right and I'm going to buy a couple. Yeah, absolutely. Because right, I don't have any more good. Okay. So a third power heavier than this one, another third, so two thirds heavier, mm -hmm. and a full power heavier. Here. Here? No, the other one. The first day that we didn't fish. Top? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What did it take to win the, the first day? Y'all's totals have been higher every day. Ours have? Hey guys. Welcome back. Thank y'all. Thank you. Alright y'all. End of day two. Officially made it on. Not gonna be quiet because there's some people around. But officially made it through. I'll tell you some more. Hold on. Walk with me. We gotta go to the interview room. There's some guys around here that you know live around here, so we gotta be keeping it on the DL. What's up, Hamilton? Had a pretty good day. Caught like 27, 26, 7 pounds, somewhere in there. Caught a lot of bass, but uh, made it through. So, feeling good. Uh, tomorrow is sudden death. Four out of the six make it to the championship round. So, it's pretty legit. Um, hoping for the best. Hopefully, it's a good, like, I missed some opportunities today, but overall, it wasn't that What the heck? My uh, bad. I didn't get the name. No, no. What? That you wanted today and you need to do a press conference? I didn't know. I think you're familiar with this process by now. I didn't get any text. I don't think I did. Well, we thought that you were just going to. You thought I was going to walk up to the press conference like, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. It's your call. This is your birthday party. Uh, Louisiana is a phenomenal fishery. We're done. But we have another interview. So, had the press conference, which is always good. Hopefully, we're doing those tomorrow. I know. Oh, that's, that's, that's about it. Right? I mean, because we, we, we're too good of friends. That's we're it. Buddies. We're so they buddies. don't want us. They just want us. They, they, yeah. I'm, I'm but we rock. We, I'm, do we do rock? We do. We freaking rock it out. Always. Okay, now Rick Westfall is one of my best, like, coolest camera dudes you've ever met in your life. So the first ultimate match fishing tournament I won, not major league fishing, ultimate match fishing, the belt. Okay. One of those things. He was my, the camera guy. So we've been, I was like 21. We've been buddies ever since. And so, since we're buddies, we can't be in the boat together all the time, I guess. So, I guess it's unfair advantage. I don't know, I'm gonna talk to the producer, but I always get stuck with somebody else, which they're all good du dudes, most of them are. Where are we going? So 107, 108? I'm gonna sit right here. Ha ha ha. What'd you oh, say? Oh, handsome. She said, get it handsome, and I said, you too, Jacob. I know, that's funny. It's like when somebody says, gentlemen, Not Jacob. Yet. <laughs> You're so funny. Yeah, I try to be super clear. Really? And I can see the fish like coming at it, the bait. And I never seem to catch them. They're always coming at it. You know what All I mean? Alright, so we got the towel behind the camera. You guys already met Dave. Appleton. Apple bottoms. I mean Appleton. Apple. Apple bottoms. And then you got the, the talent behind the camera. Behind you, Brody. The talented Miss Whitney. There you go. That's who. And then obviously Brody. The talent behind the other camera. So we got sorry. All right, now we can go. All right, buddy. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just barely move right. along. I creep now. You usually, use your butt seat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Good job as always. Appreciate you guys. You guys want something for the road? There's these guys. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go eat something. Good odd beer. I'm definitely gonna pull these. Sorry, I don't know how to act in front of the camera, so I just look awkward. So basically, got. I think those were mine again. They were here. They found them on the first floor. I found them on the floor. Did you have them? Dang, I had two of them. Thank you. I don't know how I did that. Gosh, I All right. So we got done with the interview. Pretty easy going. But tomorrow. Well, there's like 63 degrees, cloudy, gonna be a little chilly in the morning, a little chillier than this morning. Gotta rig up more rods, but 
I got to go by D. Yeah, I got a little place. I got to show you all. Pretty good spot. Last time I was here, I went with Van Dam and A. Ron, Aaron Martins. Pretty good place. <laughs> Eating the buckler. All right, y'all. We are here. That was on a picture. It's a video. Oh, it's a video. Yeah, it's it? literally. So this is what's going on. So Uncle Larry's been with Major League Fishing for like ever. Since day one. Yeah, forever. Never missed an event. From the start of it all. So we are here at Rue 61. Notice? Yes, correct. Rue 61. I, I call it Rue 61. Natchez, Mississippi. Yeah, phenomenal place. Have you ever been to Natchez, Mississippi? This place right here is by here. What does it get? What'd you get, Uncle Larry? What'd you, what'd you end up getting? It's a combo platter. Fried catfish, coconut shrimp, coleslaw, French fries, and the best hush puppies. They're so good. Yeah. East of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you have it. So what we actually got, I got a steak. Very, I think you got like a redfish, redfish pasta combo, something like that. So, hey, we'll let you know how it is. Crazy. 2011, one of the wheels and hubs and everything came off and passed me on the highway. Black and ribeye, recommended by by Uncle Larry right here. He told me he said this is the deal. I, I'm already know some of the deal, but to help you make up your mind. You did. You helped. That's the way the meat should right. be served. A little pink, but I bet one bite. Everybody knows the rules. One bite before you make a decision. You don't know what this is, you don't fall apart. Bart is still sports. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a deal one in ten. Eight. Eight. Where are you? Good. I literally Good. just got Good. Okay. Good. Not disappointed. No. Okay. Do you need some help? No. I don't need help. It's just a good blend, I'm over there putting an order in and I know people are walking around. Yeah. All right, y'all. Going up to Walmart. Grab a couple things. First off, I forgot my like beard trimming kit. So I gotta grab one real quick here. Now, Rue 61. I keep on calling it 6. I don't know why I do that, but I do that. Rue 61. Pretty dang good. Uh, I would say steak was eight. Take a don't get your steak black because it's too salty. Eesh. So I took all the dang black and stuff off. You know, I love Uncle Larry, but you know, if you need a steak black and it's probably not that good steak anyway. Bruce 61, solid place. I would literally, if you ever are traveling through Natchez, definitely a place you want to try to stop at. <laughs> so I roll up into Walmart looking for some name. Googing. They ain't crack and crawls. Special color. They ain't got them. Come on, Walmart. Pick your game up. Mamba Sour? I'm all about sour stuff, so we're gonna call it good at that. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, oh, there's a box in the front. We did some last minute tackle prep. <laughs> had uh, had a lot of tackle out. Just sort of in the boat already. But had a few more things I wanted to grab. It's never gonna have enough just because you just don't know the situation to deal with. Both days have been completely different, so I had a couple things in the back of my mind. If I would have had yesterday, I would have felt like I could have caught a couple more fish. Morning, guys. Morning. That was a 
What's that? I didn't throw rods up from yesterday. I said, whatever. <laughs> Left them on the day. Having a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're, they're broke in, right? Yeah, I'm just like, whatever. I put a couple up there, I said, forget That's it. Let's. Alright. Good or not? Day three, World Championship. Starts now. Josh, it's chilly out here. Hey, yeah, you're on? N never. <laughs> I got a bad memory of someone freaking doing something to me wrong. I'm hoping to get revenge on him today. <laughs> I'm hoping to get a little revenge. Stop right here. Uh, got eight minutes. All right, so I got some. I don't even know who the punk is. Probably A.A. Ron. Probably a Ron sucker. So pulled it on this beautiful stretch, getting ready to double crossbone some, and literally this Jimmy has to pull in here and try to fish towards me. All right, fair enough. We can play that game, Jimmy. Ooh, four of us move on. Gosh, we got to get on there. We gotta catch them suckers today somehow, somewhat. I don't wanna do it to AA Ron, but sometimes you gotta do things to buddies and just teach them lessons. Three, two, one, line two. All right, let's get this dang rodeo started. What's up? How you doing this morning? Top of the morning to you, bud. Pretty cool dog, ain't bark or nothing. Just chilling. He said, forget, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> He said, y'all ain't catching nothing anyway. <laughs> That's what he just said. He said, y'all have not caught nothing down through here. Two dang boats and went down through here. Y'all ain't caught nothing. I'm sorry to disappoint, man. I, that's not was not my intent. Grinder on our hands today, boys. We might have us a little bit of a grinder. It's good, though. pounds six ounces three six <laughs> Jacob let me give you a score tracker update mm -hmm. you have now moved into first place with three pounds Being perfect little grain water coming in not even a bite now I, I had I have a feeling you know we'll figure it out but there's some water that's you know become unfishable so it's it's made the lake fish even smaller you got more locals on the lake today um you know you don't have time to graph around i feel like almost running around and literally if i get to that point where i don't catch any more i'll go run around looking for lights on docks and throw a dang jig on them I, I don't even i caught my fish on shaky head i don't even have another shaky head in the boat i just wasn't even anticipating that would be an ideal well you know last place is pretty muddy i figure with all the rain Last couple days, there is no way. I'm gonna be the only thing I've got to bite on so far. Now, I don't think, I think eventually you'll come across a, a couple of them. Oh man, that wasn't no fun. Caught one bass. Dang, nah. It ruins, ruins being tough on us today. You gotta figure them out somehow, some way. I'm probably gonna just re rig and come up with some sort of game plan that I think I can get a couple bites. You know, I think that obviously I can know only a couple guys have got a couple bites out today. And thankfully, we've gotten one good one, which is, you know, goes a long way. But we're definitely gonna have to figure out how to just get a couple bites so we can 
at least put herself in a position going to that third period. So let me give you a score tracker update. Right. Nelly is in first place with five pounds, 14 ounces. Pia Hines is in second place with four pounds, four ounces. Aaron Martins is now in third place with three pounds, 14 ounces. Jacob, you're in fourth place with three pounds, six ounces. All right, guys, we're sitting here dragging a jig on some brush and just you know it's sort of a tough deal first first period i got one bite off of a, basically a brush pile off of a dock water's come up even more and i would you know i would say the fish should be going shallower but they keep getting fronts and everything else so the rest of the period i never caught anything so what well, i figured it wouldn't hurt to go run lights on these docks that these guys have put out put brush piles on them and you know, you can't graph every dock, there's too many of them. But you can sort of look at these lights and sort of see those and maybe graph and if there's some around. It's sort of a telltale sign that maybe the homeowner had put a little bit of brush on the dock for crappie or anything else. Finally got us one to bite. One pound, 15 ounces. Yes. <laughs> There we go. Finally got us a dang bite on the dang chat, the chatter hoo hoo. All right, I can do this. You guys couldn't get a bite on that thing. I, I just don't know what it was. Probably should leave these thing reed clumps alone, but I just can't help myself. Fish some wind blown stuff and. pound 10 ounces yes that's it that's what we got to do front edge of the dock it's not slacking it dude this thing feels so good right now this thing vibrating this one right here feels so good right now it's like crazy it has a perfect vibration there's certain times when you get a good vibrating jig that just vibrates the right way oh you just know it's gonna get bit that's the feeling of this one right now That one's vibrating too good. Dang, they should be good. Right in the mouth of a canal. Like that. Stop it. Two pounds, two ounces. There you go. Two pounds, two ounces. Closer to the cut. Closer to the championship now, baby. Let's go. One good bite or a couple of them and we'll be good. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> I'm like, un, I was about to say, like, unreal. <laughs> like, unreal. Unbelievable. Donk. Oh, okay. All right, so we need four pounds, one ounce to go out. There's one. We just need another one. Probably two pounds. <laughs> two pounds, three ounces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more, baby. One more. <sighs> so I haven't caught him way back in the backs of these places like there is right now. But there he is. That's him too. That's a championship round right there. Come on, don't do it. Boom. There we go. That's the one. That's the one right there. Championship round. General Tire World Championship. We out this B. <laughs> two pounds, three ounces. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Stuck with it. I'll tell you what. Mentally, I'm gonna put this fish back real quick here. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna give you a kiss. Go right back. Dude, give me some dab. That's freaking unbelievable. That's so awesome. I'm so freaking jacked. Holy smokes. I, I, I can't even express how excited I am to be able to be able to fish on championship day of the world championship. Four guys make it. Now we get an opportunity to sit back 
and watch and see who we got to fish against. Wop! <laughs> Wop! I just want to fish back down through here. <laughs> Let me give you a score drop. You now have a total of 19 pounds, 5 ounces. You are 1 pound, 5 ounces above the 18 pound cut line. Congratulations, you will be going to the championship round. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! We did it. Gave you guys a curveball this morning. We let you repeat water. How was that first thing? I, I didn't know exactly what to expect, you know, and I repeated some of the same places that I got bit off of and I knew, you know, I didn't get any bites. And I'm like, oh goodness gracious. Walk us through that process. I mean, it's 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 sort of a, a gut feeling thing. And especially, it, it really comes out when you don't know the bodies of water because you're constantly just running around. But I think it's just that gut feeling, ultimately you know when it looks right and that's when you set that boat down. It's just something you can't explain. Can't explain, but it's happening often. Heading to the championship round. Today was definitely Jacob Wheeler's day, winner of sudden death round, and he's heading to the championship round. Now go right around and tell everybody else what to do so we can all get off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Uncle Larry, and I'm gonna give you- Have you ever missed an event? Pardon me? Have you ever missed I've an never event? missed an event. So you were at the first MLF? The very first, and I've never missed one since, including our tour. So I'm going to give you a score tracker update here. Just under two hours left in our sudden death here at the World Championship, Vidalia, Louisiana. Jacob Wheeler has already met Matt Cutoff Way and is now heading to the hotel to do a little relaxing. He went out with 19 pounds, 5 ounces. We have a cut weight of 18 pounds. As the anglers reach that 18 pound mark, they can load it up and go home and look forward to fishing the final. Currently, second place belongs to Aaron Martin. Mike Iaconelli is in third. Iaconelli has 13 pounds, eight ounces. In fourth place with the final cut spot, Takahiro Omari, 11 pounds, four ounces. What that equates to is, again, Jacob Wheeler. Wheels up and heading to the hotel. He's arrived. We're liable to see this thing go all the way to the final minute. Definitely. They're gonna have to fish their full three periods. And that, my friends, is your old fashioned Score tracker update Score from Uncle Larry. So the reason I have no shoes on is because I had to jump and it dropped me off on the bank. Like this is the thing. So Major League Fishing was all shot in the dark. So I so I win today. So I'm the first one out. So instead of everybody knowing, because there's a whole bunch of people at the ramp, locals at the ramp, they don't want to know. Like we can't let them know that we actually won. I jump out like quarter mile away from the boat ramp and I walked through the swamp and that's how I ended up getting where I, where I am today. So socks are wet, shoes are wet, but we got the dub. <laughs> I gotta go around right there and do that interview too. Yeah. That one's done. Sudden death is one of those rounds that for me, I, I, I've had those unbelievable moments where it's so cool and I love it. And then there's those times where you just hate it. Get back in the back of the truck, get some tackle out that I just sort of was dreaming in my dreams last night thinking about. So I'm sitting there waiting for, for lines in. I'm just yelling you know, and talk. Hey, hey, you, you, yeah, get out of here. I was here first. Sucker didn't speak English, so. <laughs> now let's, let's go through so he couldn't understand pretty me. Slow, right? I knew I had to probably go back to the old tried and true, and that was that vibrating jig. For me, that's one of my confidence baits when the water's under 60 degrees. The biggest change that happened was I was fishing in the first period on the side of the lake that the water, there was no wind pushing in on there. Maybe the shad were more present. Through the second period, that love-hate relationship that I had with sudden death, I was starting, I was, I was on the love side of that more than the hate side. You know, first period, I was, I was over here on the hate side. Second period, halfway through, I was starting to love it. You know, it's, it, it's just how it is. So out of those three baits that I showed you guys, literally that vibrating jig was the key today. You're not bothering me at all. We're just, all right, bye. All right, I'm gonna go try to put my name rods up. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Given the conditions around this area, when you heard the target weight was gonna be 19 pounds, 18. Do you think, oh, 18 pounds. 
Do you have an empty home? Uh, for 18 pounds, did you think that was going to be feasible? Randy said 18 pounds. Um, it was sort of one of those things that I'm like, I didn't even have 18 pounds in the first round in Bruin. Number one, it threw me for a loop that we were going to Bruin again. Um, number two, 18 pounds was, was I, you know, we could all be fishing all day long. I mean, only one person in my group um, even had 18 pounds, and that was Chapman. It sucker lied to me. And what happened was I, I, I literally caught one on a brush pile off of a boat dock that I grabbed in the ride through. How much would you love to have that trophy? Because it's, it's a really unique trophy. You know, you've got a bunch of trophies in your house, but how much would you love to have that trophy? A world championship trophy? I mean, okay. so, anyway. Yep. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm going to go rig some rods, put some line on, all that stuff. I'm going to take this squincher. All right, see y'all. Wow. So we just got done with interviews. Now it's time to just redo some tackle. Have a little bit of extra time, which is nice. It's not normal. Normally, it's pretty tough to, to get out that quick, but trust me, I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to sort of get everything sort of organized where I know exactly where everything's at. It's one thing sort of been nice, been staying in this boat the last couple of days, is just sort of getting that everything sort of in the way exactly where I need it to be. Yeah, freak, hey, listen, I would have, I, I figured them out, and you're lucky I left. That would have been the championship round, it would have been so ugly. No, I would've, I would've it would have been, it would have been the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. No, I was, I was getting You weren't doing nothing, you didn't even barely get out until like, I would have had like three hours just to catch what you caught. Okay, Aaron. We, we missed lunch, didn't we? We had a couple more hours, you would have been oh. Next period, next period. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. For sure. <laughs> Just because I beat you, I'm a peanut head. I guess that's how it works. When you when you beat somebody, do you become a peanut head? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Group photo shoot, championship round. Shot, going, got the tackle rigged. Feel like I'm pretty much ready to roll. Think you're gonna win? I don't know, them guys have a lot to say about that, so I don't know, we're gonna see. I would I'd like to, I got a one in four shot, so pretty good odds, but not, not against them hammers.